Hi, it's Pam Buteri, your trusted real estate advisor here at Keller Williams Real Estate. And today's topic for our video is how to handle multiple offers from both the buyer and seller perspective. Hi, welcome back to my video blog. Today's topic, we're going to be discussing multiple offers. In just a quick minute before we start, don't forget to check out the two links on our blog where you can search for all homes currently available for free. And if you also want a free evaluation of your home's value, click on that link. So in the current market that we're in, some properties are seeing multiple offers. And let's start talking about it when you're on the buy side. I know it can be really frustrating. Having been in the business for over 25 years, we're really good at strategizing so we can position your offer to be the one that the seller chooses. And one of the things that we've realized is we, we're not sure we want to be the first offer and we kind of want to sit back, watch how things play out, see if multiple offers come in so we can best position your offer. We've also had some of our clients write truly personal notes to the seller about their vision of their family living in their home. Um, we also know that a big down payment, like a big deposit with the offer will catch a seller's eye. And waiving the appraisal contingency, which I know can be a huge risk, and we will certainly talk through all of that and make sure you don't overpay for this home, that we've found sellers have chosen our offer over offers that are higher price. Now, on the flip side, when you're the seller, again, the highest price may not be your best choice if there is an appraisal contingency. We are seeing appraisal issues a lot these days, especially with this market. Um, when, when I'm on the seller side, I want to make sure that you know my buyer is pre-approved. So you, you have to make sure as a buyer that you definitely get pre-approved. Um, putting a lot of money down is great. Cash is fantastic if you don't put an appraisal contingency. If there's an appraisal contingency from a seller's perspective, you might as well get a mortgage. It doesn't matter as much. So these are just some great tips. We'd love to share um, some more strategies that we use because uh, we like when our clients get the home of their dreams. Thanks for tuning in.